everybody and welcome back to Beanie Boo Safari. Today is going to be a DIY slash tutorial video about how to make this lovely desk. It is perfectly Beanie Boo sized and is mostly made out of cardboard and wooden dowels. I made a poll on my community tab asking you guys what kind of videos you like to see from me and the majority of you guys said DIY so here I am showing you guys some DIY videos of some sort. Now I will probably do a how to make Beanie Boo props part 2 video because that video got a lot of views so stay tuned for that as well. So without any further jazz let's get into the actual video. The things that you will need for this desk are a permanent black marker and a pencil, some scissors, a roll of strong tape like duct tape or masking tape or gorilla tape, wooden dowels or something to use as table legs, a ruler and a glue stick, and what the majority of this is going to be made of is cardboard. Now I'm using this recycled cardboard from a Lego kit that I did a while back and the reason that I really like it is because it is black on the other side so that means I can make a black desk. If you only have like normal cardboard like brown cardboard you can paint it when it's done or you could color it with a marker or you can cover it in paper in the color that you desire. The first thing that you need to do is trace on your cardboard with your pencil these measurements. So it is a complete rectangle with one centimeter by one centimeter squares cut out at the corners so that leaves 14 centimeters at the top and bottom, five centimeters on the side, five centimeters on the side and then of course these corners are all one centimeter in. After you have traced it out, you can go ahead and cut it. After you have cut it out to match the template with, again, 14 centimeter length, 5 centimeter width, and 1 by 1 centimeter square indents on the corners. After that, you need to flip it over and take your scissors and lightly score it from here to here this corner to this corner, this corner to this corner, and this corner to that corner. And then you are going to fold it forward to make a thin box-like thing. Just like that. So I've scored a line right there. It's important not to cut all the way through or else you won't be able to bend it. But this is just for the purpose of being able to bend it a lot easier. And once you have completed that on all the sides, it will form the top of the table. Okay, now that you have repeated that on all four sides and they are folded upwards, you should get a box-like shape. To stop the corners from separating like they do, I put a little piece of tape bridging from here to here to keep it nicely closed and a lot more clean. There we go, just like that. So now when you look at it from the outside, there isn't so much of a gap on all sides to get the same effect. Now the top of the table is complete and we are going to set it aside and work on the bottom. We are going to take our scrap cardboard again and trace out a rectangle of 14 by 5 centimeters. Once you've done that, you can cut it out. After you've cut it out, use it as a template to trace two more rectangles of the same measurements leaving you with three rectangles that are all 14 by 5 centimeters. With one of your rectangles, measure out four dots on each corner and mark it with your pencil. Try to make them as even as you can and not too close to the edges either. Now with your scissors, puncture a hole on each dot. You don't have to go all the way through because the dowel will do the rest of the work. Once you have an indent, take the sharp end of your dowel and puncture the rest of the hole until you're able to push it all the way through to the other side. Run the dowel through it a couple more times just to make sure it is completely clear and repeat for the other three holes. Once all four holes have been made, line it up with the second piece of cardboard as best as you can and mark where the holes are with your pencil. I've marked the four corners where the holes are as best as you can and it is very important that they do line up or else the table might not be as stable as you would like it. Anyways, after that is all measured out, you can go ahead with your scissors and puncture the top of it and then go through it with your dowel. Now you need to repeat the same process with the third piece of cardboard. Now that we have three identical rectangles all with holes on each corner, we are going to set aside one and just take two of these 
and flip them over to their bad side, so the side you do not want to see and put a layer of glue with your glue stick on both of them. Make sure to go right to the edges and it is okay if you go over the holes. Once you've glued both rectangles and the glue is still wet, you are to fold them together and line them up. Along with sticking a dowel through each circle, aligning on both sides so that we know that it is perfectly aligned when it dries. Fix something like this while it is drying. Now make sure that there are no air pockets, everything is nicely aligned and let it dry. Waiting for the glue to dry, you can measure out the legs of the table by measuring 5.5 centimeters on the dowel, marking it out and cutting it, and then repeating it until you have four measured out dowels of the same size. Once you have marked out where to cut on the dowel, I find it's easiest if you take your scissors and run it around the dowel a few times and then once you have scored it to break it in half just so that you make sure that you break on the mark and it is not super frustrating cutting through the whole thing. Alright now once the glue has dried you can carefully remove the dowels and trim off any rough edges that may still be exposed. Now all we need to do is take our four dowels that we previously measured out our doubled up piece of square cardboard and our singular square cardboard and put them all together. The first thing we are going to do is take our doubled up piece of cardboard which will actually result in being the lower shelf of the desk and take our dowels and just put them through the holes and even them out a little bit. Once you've got all four dowels in, you can adjust how low down you want the second shelf to be by adjusting how much comes out of each side. Once you have it at the desired height, all you need to do is take your third piece of singular cardboard and line it up with the dowels so that it just sets on top. And you actually need to put it on face down so the bad side is facing upward. Get a little bit tricky trying to line up all of the dowels in the correct spots but once you've done it you are basically done. All you need to do is adjust the dowels so that they are just peeking out of the top of the top piece of cardboard and do that with each one and then you need to place the top of the table that we made in the first bit of the video on top of this. Now you'll notice that I took the tape off of the interior of the corners of the top layer and that is because I just find it a little bit easier to put on the top when the tape is not there and the corners are not that noticeable. Also if you would like the top to be permanent you can put a layer of glue on here and then glue the top on. Although I like to make mine remo removable so that it is easier to store. Now the last but not least thing that we need to do is color around the raw cardboard edges with a black permanent marker just to give it a nice finished look. And of course if you did not use colored cardboard like I did, you can go ahead and paint it or color it or cover it in paper with whatever patterns you want right now. Alright, now that you have colored the edges, your table is complete. You can decorate it with things like lamps, papers, magazines, and much more. You can also make more of them, cute school desks, or you could join them together to make a counter or a long table. That is it for the DIY section of this video, but here is a kind of photo shoot to give you some inspiration and ideas of how you can use this table. Alright everybody, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I really really hope that this desk tutorial was helpful. Let me know what kind of things and DIY tutorials you would like to see in the future. Don't worry, be happy, have an amazing day, and goodbye!